I'm Thomas Harris. And I'm Simon Lee. And this is Sports Center. On Monday Night Football, last night it was a tale of two halves. The Chargers opened up a 24-0 halftime lead, but they were outscored 35-0 in the second half to lose Peyton Manning in that first Broncos 35-24. It was the first time in history of NFL that a team that was down 24 points has come back to win by a double G digit. Even Miss Bachman can't remember it ever happening, and she's pretty old. Over in Major League Baseball, the San Francisco Giants tied up the National League Championship Series with a 7-1 win over the St. Louis Cardinals. The series now moves to St. Louis for the next three games, beginning tomorrow. The American League Series resumes tonight as the Yankees travel to Detroit. Justin Verlander is scheduled to pitch for Detroit while Phil Pugs will take the mound for the Yanks. The Charlotte Observer Sweet 16 High School Football Hall has undefeated Butler at number one while Mallard Creek checks in at number three and Independence and Porter Ridge are tied at number nine. In gym action yesterday, the blue team had a heck of a day getting bacon and eggs in a record of 38 seconds. Now here's Simon, Simon Says. I'm Simon, and this is Simon Says. The Chargers blew a 24-point lead last night on Monday Night Football. Philip Rivers, I'm calling you out. You complain to the refs about your teammates and coaches. Dude, you turned the ball over six times. If you want to blame somebody for blowing a big lead, look in the mirror, pal. Now back to the front desk. 